Well, Joe Biden came out of the basement and gave an interview on The Breakfast Club, and I'm thinking maybe he should have stayed there. <laughs> um, he's <laughs> He got a lot of backlash for a comment that he made, and I'm not going to say what it is. I'll just play it for you, and then we'll talk. Listen, you got to come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. Cause it's I a, will. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black, it don't have nothing to do with. I wonder. I wonder if the people handling his campaign were just like, I knew it. We should have kept him in the basement. We should have kept him away from the cameras. I told you. We wanted him to go out. We knew this was going to happen. He just, it, it seems like he can't do one interview without doing something incredibly off. Like every time this man talks, he shoots himself in the foot. How many other, he fell asleep during an interview. He sometimes can't complete full sentences. He goes off topic and off track. He doesn't know where he is. He doesn't remember who he's talking to. And now this. And the double standard here is just completely mind blowing because if Donald Trump would have ever had said anything remotely as bad as what he said on that interview, could you imagine people, if that was Donald Trump, people would be rioting in the streets right now. And, and saying he's a racist and there was backlash. So I'll say that and he was criticized by people on the right and by people on the left, which I think I think is good. But man, still, could you imagine if Donald Trump would have said that? And it's, it's downright scary at this point. And I saw somebody criticizing the whole handling of Biden and, and him being a candidate. And at this point, it's almost like elderly abuse. They're, they're pushing him into this presidency and, and he's obviously off his rocker, might have onset Alzheimer's. He doesn't even know what's going on. And this is who they're pushing to be the president of the United States of America. And I love like one of the biggest criticisms of Trump, e even by some of his supporters, they're, they're the one thing that they're disappointed in with him and, and a lot of some of his biggest critics, they say that he's not presidential. He doesn't act very presidential. He doesn't talk very presidential. What is that? Is like, what is this? <laughs> there was, I'll, I'll play it for you right now. I don't know if anyone saw this, but there is, I think it was a town hall or something that Biden was hosting. And one of his people, a girl that was going to vote for him, one of his supporters asked him a question and it was a good question. <laughs> And he just starts going off and I think he called her a dog-faced pony soldier. Could you imagine if that was Trump? I'll, I'll play it for you right now. The candidate with the greatest advantage in this race. You've been the vice president. You weren't burdened down by the impeachment trials. So, how, or in the participation. So how do you explain the performance in Iowa, and why should the voters believe that you can win the national election? It's a good question. Number one, I was a Democratic caucus. You ever been to a caucus? No, you haven't. You're a lying dog faced pony soldier. You said you were, but you're, you're, now you got to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you. I wanted to talk about this because I feel like, especially with what's going on right now, I feel like I'm in this weird sort of apocalyptic kind of like psychological thriller where the government is evil. It's almost like he's this little puppet for them. He can't really do or say or think anything. They're just kind of using him as a puppet to get Democrats in office because they didn't have anything else. It's like, this is the best you could come up with. Let the man rest and take a nap and go to sleep and chill and enjoy his family. I actually think he seems like a pretty funny guy, but he shouldn't be the president of the United States. This is so bad. <laughs> it's creepy. It's like, we're all just kind of ignoring what's going on. No, everything's fine. Don't look here. Ugh. It's almost like now, whenever I watch, uh, going back to the, the creepy psych psychological apocalyptic 
thriller that I feel like we're living in right now. I feel like that every time I watch Nancy Pelosi talk, especially I might do another video about this when she was talking about um, the mail at home uh, ballots. Well, we wanna do it just to keep everyone safe. It's safety, it's all about safety. Mm. Creepy. All right, well, there was that. I hope you enjoyed those videos of, of, of good old Joe. Oh boy, <laughs> bye.